Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we gotta get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install the important mods for your gameplay on GTA V PC. So guys, I've been getting so many messages from so many people about, I don't know, about hundreds and hundreds of people saying that their F7 does not work, their map editor does not work, their add-on page does not work, the L button does not work. I don't know how to install pins. I don't know how to spawn pins. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I don't know anything about modding. Um, so guys, those are the questions that I've been getting and it's really, really irritating me. So I'm gonna make this video to you guys. And this video is gonna be easy, simple, if that if like one, two, three, and that's it, okay guys. I'm gonna start this video with a clean GTA V folder, which means you must delete your game right now, guys, and start again, okay? Just delete your game, okay? Reinstall the whole game and start again, okay? And now uh, we are going to start fresh, okay? So, with that said, guys, make sure you download all of the requirements in some of the description below make sure that they are the latest version and make sure you download everything inside my downloads as well once you guys have completed that then download these two mods map editor and add-on pins and we're gonna get straight into it okay just so, just to let you guys know that loads of people have been saying to me that the mod does not work and etc so please guys i'm trying my best to Reply back to you, okay? It's just that I do have a busy life, okay? So let's get straight into it, guys. Once you guys have completed all that, okay? Download the mods and the requirements, the latest version. Then we gotta get into our game. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, as you guys can see, I've got a complete clean folder. There's absolutely no mods in here, not even one file of a mod in here, okay? So, since this is a clean folder, we need to connect our GTAV folder with OpenIV first. You must connect it to OpenIV first before you start installing mods, okay? So go to your OpenIV, make sure you guys install OpenIV is the most important thing you must do first. So open up your open IV. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V windows. Once it's once the application opens up, go to your tools, go to ASI Manager, and then now install your ASI loader and open IV.ASI and then select yes. It will ask create mod for so you say yes and then open camera install close your application and just minimize your open IV now as you guys can see we have got a mod folder now now what we are going to do guys is that we are going to install all the requirements okay so make sure you guys download all the requirements in some of the description below and we're gonna get straight into it okay now make sure that all the requirements are the latest version okay so what we're gonna do now guys is that we're gonna go and install script hog v so open up your script hog v extract file go into your bin folder and now select input 8.dll and script hog v dll drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will come up, just replace your files. Now open up your script.net 
extract folder. Now select script hook me dot net dot asi dot dll and dot xml. Drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install the trainers. Now open up your trainer V extract folder and now select trainer V dot ASI dot INI drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Open up your menu extract folder select menu stuff folder and menu dot ASI and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now guys, this is optional. You don't have to do this if you want to, but download map reveal and open interiors. It will be inside my downloads inside my description. So open up map reveal and open interiors extract folder. Now select all the three files that is inside the extract folder and drag them all inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we have completed that, okay? The next thing we are going to do, guys, is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder, right click, refresh your folder, and right click again and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Press enter once and press enter again. Now, guys, once you guys have finished installing all of your requirements, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to install our map editor. So, the first thing we are going to install inside our scripts folder is map editor. So, open up your map editor extract folder. Now, copy everything that is inside your extract folder into your scripts folder. So, drag it onto your scripts folder. Now, there you go. Now, the next thing you got to do, guys, is go inside my description, inside my downloads, and now download the native UI version 1.7. So, so, guys, it is the old version. Open up your native UI extract folder, and now click on native UI.dll file and drag it inside your scripts folder. This application will pop up just replace the file and that's it now guys that's all you guys got to do okay now we have completed installing map editor now we are going to install add-on pairs now add-on pairs so many people has been having so many frustrations so many stress so we're going to get straight to it so open up your add-on pairs extract folder now here is a trick guys, as you guys can see, there is a DLC packs over here, but over here, there's no update folder. So what we are going to do guys, is that we are going to create an update folder. So guys, inside my description, there will be an update folder for you guys to install, so you guys can install it inside your mod folders, okay? But I already got one, so I'm gonna copy this copy that and then go back and I'll paste here so guys I will put this update folder inside my description so you guys can install it okay that's only if you're starting a new folder this update folder will be inside my downloads by the way and now we ha have finished with that so now guys, what we're going to do is go into your mod folder, go into your update folder, go to time64, go to DRC packs, and now as you guys can see, we've got a complete brand spanking new DRC packs folder. So, go into your DRC packs inside your extract folder, and now click on add on pairs, and drag it into your DRC packs folder. Now we have done that guys. Now go back to your GTA V main directory. Now the next thing we are going to do guys is click on add on peers editor.exe 
and add on psvars.xml and drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now guys do not go into your scripts folder. Never go in there guys. Do not download that and do not install it inside your scripts folder. Skip this. Go into your readme.html and I'll scroll down the bottom guys. Just down the bottom over here somewhere. Now where is it? Over here and copy this code. Okay. Copy that whole line and then there you go. Now the next thing we are going to do guys is exit out of your open IV. Now guys go inside my downloads. There will be a peer selector inside my downloads. Download peer selector and then now uh, we are going to install the peer selector inside our skits folder. So go to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. Open up your scripts folder. Now open up your peer selector extract folder. And now drag it towards the side. Now open up your peer selector folder. And now click on peer selector.dll and drag that into your scripts folder. Now this will fix the L button. Make sure you guys do have the peer selector and native UI. Okay guys. Now exit out of your extract folder. Now go to your GTA V main directory right click and then refresh your folder exit out of your folder guys and now we have done that go to your open iv go to edit mode select yes now go to your mods folder go to updates go to update.rpf go to common go to data scroll right down the bottom Go to your DRC list.xml, right click and edit. Scroll right down the bottom, guys. Then now select on the item over here and press enter once and paste your code right there, guys. Then now save your code, go back to your DRC list.xml and now double check to see if your add on peers is installed. And yes, it is. Add on peers is installed. So click on click on edit mode, click on GTA V, exit out of your open IV, and now guys, hallelujah, we have finally finished installing map editor and add-on pins. So guys, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go into the game and show you guys. But just to show you guys proof, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to speed the process so you guys know that I'm not only skipping the video, okay guys? So right click on your desktop refresh your desktop and then now guys i will see you guys in the game Now guys, we are back now. So I'm going to show you guys that the menu does work okay. So here we go guys, in five, four, three, two, one. We are going to test the menus. Okay guys, so to open up map editor, all you gotta do is press F7. And there you go guys, see? Map editor does work if you guys put your head into it, okay? And yes guys, map editor does work okay. Now I'm gonna do it one more time for those for those of you who's saying for those of you for for those of you who are saying that map editor does not work. There you go, it does. So I will show you guys. Okay, this person said when I download Make Visual Great again, it is that file and not OIV. So should I copy that? Blah 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 blah. No, that's the wrong person. Now over here, I tried doing that as well. And it still doesn't didn't work. When I am in the game, I click F7 and it makes a clicking noise, but no menu pops up. Nothing is bound to F7 aside. So, D 
the phone met with us uh, later in the and uh, he, he's saying he did install a version 1.7 and it's not working. Well bro, if you're watching this video, as you guys, as you can see, that it is working for me and you did see me install it inside a clean folder, I'm going to press F7 one more time and see it does work, okay? See, make sure you guys do listen very, very carefully, okay? Because sometimes mods, other mods does affect the mod to work, okay guys? I'm going to repeat it one more time. Sometimes other mods does affect the mod to work, okay? So make sure you do it in a clean folder and then you can see what's my point of view, okay? Now, to those of you who are saying that the L button does not work, okay? Well, it does work, okay guys? I guarantee it does work, it's just that you guys don't know how to do it. Okay, so, I, so, you guys saw me installing add-on pads inside a clean folder, and now I'm going to show you guys proof that it does work. To open up your add-on pads menu, it's really simple and easy. All you got to do is press your L key, and here it goes, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, press my L key. And there we go, guys, see, right there. Um, see guys right there see and that's how you guys do it man come on man so so you guys I have installed map editor and add-on pets inside our clean folder okay it's really simple and easy guys okay I can do it in my sleep I can do it while I'm drinking I can do it uh, while while looking at the sky okay I can do it with my eyes closed so guys make sure you guys do Download everything inside my description, okay? And make sure you guys do do it properly. <laughs> so guys, I hope that this video does help you. If it did, then let me know in the comments. Or if you guys still need help, then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you. So guys, make sure that you have got the paid version of the game. Because if you guys do have a cracked version, then the mod won't work because you got a crack version so guys remember you must buy the game okay do not come to me and saying that the mod does not work okay make sure you guys have paid the game okay do not use the crack version and and guys make sure you download everything inside my description too even inside my downloads okay guys so with that said guys i am more than welcome to help you guys out in any other mods okay so like always guys if you guys did like this video remember to smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and i'll see you guys on my next video thanks for watching peace and i'm out